Now here's a good one about a husband who I will gladly award the title of boss for today after how he handled things when his wife brought up or tiptoed around the subject of open marriage. And you're going to see he kicks her right to the curb like that and she is just completely shocked. And I'll be very good one to go over here guys. One for this story. This, this, this video is the story and then the reaction in the comment section. Because you can imagine this guy is being torn apart by guys in the comments section. Clueless, nice guy, nice guy, blue pilled, man bun wearing nice guys are clueless. And guess who's supporting him in the comments section? Women. Lots of women that are called that know exactly what's going on behind the scenes. It's amazing. And it goes to show you guys, she brings up open marriage, open relationship, it's over. Why is it over? Why wouldn't you just listen to her and communicate like adults? Because guess what? She's tiptoeing around the idea. That's how they communicate. Hints and innuendos, but it actually that's how they communicate. And if they're bringing it up overwhelmingly, they already are cheating with some other guy or girl. You never know. Or they have somebody already ready to go, and he's got to end it, move on. Because nobody that truly loves their guy, no woman that ever loves their guy, would ever want to be with some other guy or him with some other girl. Titled, Wife Asked for Open Marriage, I Asked for a Divorce. And a shout out to John for sending me this story. He says, uh, I'm wondering if I jumped the gun or have been reasonable here. We've been married for 12 years now. Things have always been great without any particular up or down. How many stories start like this? My wife has always been kind, sweet woman, and up until this point, I thought the world of her. And then she went and broached the talk about an open marriage. And he's quoting her saying, what if we consider opening up marriage? Because all her friends did it, and it's 2024. <laughs> what I tell you about paying attention to who her friends are. All my friends are doing it. It's, there's a reason I often compare women, not all, but many, to children. Because they, they act like it. Kids will do things because all their friends are doing it. Now you're going to go cheat on your husband because it is cheating. Because all your friends are doing it. Really? I didn't get angry or anything like that. I just listened and offered my counters. I asked if her friends are influencing her in any of this, and she said no. Bullshit. I asked if she already has someone in mind, and she said no. Bullshit. I asked her to give me some time to think about it, and she agreed, stating we don't have to do it if I'm not up for it. Bullshit. I shouldn't have, but in the days after, I checked her phone and laptop, nothing serious, or that suggests she was already cheating. Smack. Um, I don't want to hear you shouldn't have done that. If she's bringing up going out effing other dudes or getting down with other girls, you have every right to do a little detective work to see if something's going on. Last week I told her I thought about it and in my opinion she can date who anyone she wants because I want a divorce. <laughs> Cue to the sobbing, the begging and all. If I knew I wouldn't have even asked, she refuses to move out and do, and do I. So I sleep in the guest room. She's taken sick from work, and every time I'm home, she keeps begging to talk and go back to the bedroom with her. I believe her friends actually tried to influence her, and she didn't do anything at all. But this unraveled my perception of her. Was I too fast to mention divorce? 100% no. Because you handled it. Why waste time? It's over. Any woman that brings this up is already cheating or planning on it. And I don't want to hear that, oh, be her friends brought it up and it's their fault for influencing her. She's a grown-ass woman. They've been married, said, 12 years, so I'm guessing they're probably in their 30s at this point. Maybe a little bit old, maybe late 30s. She's a grown-ass woman who can think for herself and is responsible for her own actions. Really? Do you think you love, any guy loved their wives? If, they, if the man brings up an open marriage, says, oh, you can go hook up with anybody, any guy you want. No big deal. No. You already, you already got a girl on the side, and you don't care. Why would you waste any time with her any further if she's just no problem just hooking up other guys? That's not love. That's not what you signed up for. That wasn't a part of your vows to, you know, sickness and health, rich or poor, oh, and to go hook up with another guy whenever I want it. Bullshit. So I think you handled it quite well. Now, the comments. Comment section is full of dudes tearing them apart. That you just should have listened to her and talked to her. And a good marriage would communicate such things. But what these jackasses don't understand is women communicate like men do. 
men are often, most of us, direct with what's on our mind, speak up instead of hints and just testing the waters, if you will. That's what they do. So by her hinting and bringing up an idea casually, that's her like being direct like a guy. And they don't get, guess what, nice guys. She's probably already hooking up with somebody else. <clears throat> First comment. Now, this is from a woman defending this guy. This woman says, as a woman, this is an odd way to bring it up if it's a newfound kink or something. She didn't say, hey, I've been thinking about X, Y, and Z. Would you be into that too? She just flat out said, it's 2024, and why wouldn't we? Either she has cheated, she's going to cheat on her, or her friends pressure her into doing it, thinking this is what a relationship should be in 2024. I don't know if it's the right move for me, but you sound like you know what you want and don't want, and that's all you need to know. There you go. Now she just said, I don't know if it's the right move for me, but the point is, she's calling out the bullshit. Right then, this is from a woman. Next one. This is from a dumbass nice guy. This guy says, yeah, I don't get your reaction. Nor do I get the majority support you're receiving. Maybe there's something wrong with me. How does this hurt you? What's wrong with just saying nah as a response to the question? Like you mentioned, others in her circle of friends are doing it. Why wouldn't she want to talk with you about it? It's just talk. You have no evidence, despite looking, on, of anything inappropriate. Maybe I should have explained it to, to, it should be explained to me why anyone should be punished for their thoughts instead of actions. So this guy is thinking, she's just having a conversation. She shouldn't be punished for that. Well, this guy clearly doesn't understand how women communicate, and this guy clearly doesn't get the reality when these things are brought up. There's already something going on. Another one. This is from a woman. This woman says, if my husband had asked for that, I would have said, sure. You're going to be single as soon as the divorce is finalized, so have it. Bye. <laughs> Another one. This is from a guy giving him a hard time. He says, absolutely. Their marriage had no highs in 12 years. The fuck is that? This threat is seriously alarming. What the fuck has happened to this sub? So, no one should ever pay any attention to what gets upvotes here. She asked a what-if question. A sane partner would try to understand what she was missing, what she was trying to solve for. If your reaction to the story was that was that she's just a SLUT and that's all the explanation needed, sorry, but you might be an incel. So this dude is immediately labeling this guy who is not in his situation an incel or something negative like that, as they usually do, throw insults instead of digging in, because he wouldn't have a conversation with her and try to understand, you know, something's missing or something like that. No. She brought this up as serious as a guy. In woman, woman, the woman language, casual conversation is a direct conversation like us guys. And again, something's going on in why this guy has standards. I'm not going to be with someone that's going to do this. And this guy stayed with her and just let the conversation go. And she said, we don't have to do it if you don't want to. Guess what? The odds are those same friends are going to be pushing her buttons and things can be going on. And this guy's going to be slipping with one eye open all the time. It's not what he wants. Another one. You did the right thing. Her friends told her it's fun and so she wants to do it. Doesn't sound like she truly thought it through. She did this to herself. It's one thing to have a friend influence you to cut a hair, buy an expensive pair of shoes, or go to a new restaurant. But to fuck other men, come on. All right. Now, I, can't, I don't recall if they mentioned that her friends are all married. How about that? Probably some are married, some are single. And remember, sadly, a lot of women will sabotage their, their friends' relationships if they are single and jealous and all that. It happens. She cares more about her friends' opinion than yours. Who knows if they're actually in open marriages or just seeing your wife, seeing if your wife would do it. And last one. This is a good one. Says you're 99.9% .9 of the time when one partner suggests opening a marriage without forewarning, they're asking for permission to cheat. They almost always have someone else in mind if they haven't started the process already. This is a very different. This is very different to couples suggesting swinging together or mutually opening the marriage. If my wife approached me with this, I would do the same as you as you have. I have no issues with E and M if that if that you're in your partner's thing, but it's not for me, and it won't be a relationship involving it. There you go. So like I told you, the whole comment section is full of different people. But it's interesting. The ones that give him the hardest time were guys. And I can tell because I can tell guys right. And I can see the little handle of their name and stuff like that. But the women are backing up saying, uh-uh, not cool. Something's going on. Don't buy that bull crap. And, and, and they know. They know they're, they're tight. So there you go. Handle like a boss. Good job. Wish you the best.